If you're going to start retouching your own images, you need to understand the basic retouching tools within Adobe Photoshop. Knowing which tools you'll have at your disposal will allow you to better select which tool to use and in which circumstance to use them in. While Photoshop has some really powerful tools that you can use in a variety of different ways, by far the most important thing to remember is that Photoshop isn't programmed just for photographers. There are going to be tools built for other creatives within Photoshop, and therefore, many tools may appear to do similar things with subtle differences. With that, let's begin. The first tool you're more than likely to use when you're first starting off is your Spot Healing Brush Tool. The Spot Healing Brush Tool automatically samples information like texture and lighting from one area that you select and removes any imperfections it sees within that area. How? Well, Photoshop analyzes the texture and the lighting within a close range of that area, and then the algorithms remove anything it sees as an imperfection. While that sounds amazing in theory, remember that Photoshop is still a program, not a mind reader, so you're going to find that it has a difficult time understanding information like lighting in areas of harsh contrast, in areas with lots of texture. I generally use this tool when I'm trying to remove a well-defined spot on the face before moving to more complicated retouching techniques. This tool should be used on areas like the chin, cheeks, and forehead, where you have a larger area of similar color and similar texture. Our next tool is the Healing Brush Tool. Now the Healing Brush Tool works a lot like the Spot Healing Brush Tool but it requires you to manually select the area that it samples from. Once you've made that selection, Photoshop does its best to replicate the texture, lighting, and transparency for the selection that you made. This is a great tool to use in basic hair retouching and portrait retouching because it allows you to creatively select areas you want to repair, and then Photoshop does a great job blending in those areas together. While it's not perfect, it does do a great job at cleaning skin, lines under the eyes, and unwanted strands of hair. From there, you have the patch tool. The patch tool is an awesome tool to use to repair smaller areas of the image. It allows you to repair select areas with pixels from one area or pattern with another, and then it does its best to blend in those areas as seamlessly as possible. So hands down, this is gonna be one of the best tools to use when you're trying to get rid of information. Next up is the Content Aware tool. The Content Aware tool allows you to select pixels from one area and extend them over to another area of your image without having to use layers or masks. For instance, let's say that you have an area of the background that you're trying to extend because you didn't frame your shot precisely. By using the Content Aware tool, you can then select an area you pre-select and place it over the area that you're trying to remove. Photoshop then does its best to seamlessly blend in that area of the background without much hassle. It's a quick and easy tool to use when you're trying to edit on the fly. And finally, you have the Clone Stamp tool, one of my favorite tools in Photoshop and one that I couldn't live without. Simply put, just like a real stamp, it creates a carbon copy of the area that you select and then copies or clones those pixels onto another area that you select. The clone stamp tool is one of the best tools to use to either duplicate areas of texture or remove defects from your image. Think of the clone stamp tool like a manual car. You have full control over texture, lighting, and color as you see fit. And that's it. Those are your basic retouching tools in Adobe Photoshop.